previously on Tyler Perry Mason. I know you're still upset about the fact that I never told you who your father was. His name was Perry Mason. Does that mean you're white? Look at us, we're all a little mixed. We just got a big case. <laughs> My <laughs> no. Yeah, she's the fiance of Tavis Martin. But you better win in court because I no don't No problem. Okay. My name is Tyler Perry Mason. And I'm here to represent you as your new attorney. Do you think your client, Mr. Tavis Martin, is innocent? Facts will be revealed at the trial. This is me, man. We black go way back. I need this, Mark. It's for my man, Tyler. I need this. So you're saying he was a bully? Steve Irving? Steve he got Irving. into a fight with him. I hope you guys got some good news for me on this Tavis Martin case. I don't have any good news for you. I just got the message that the Timberlake. Timberlake? Yeah, he's got the Austin Timberlake. No objection, Your Honor. Relevant. Your Honor, the prosecution has laid a foundation that the witness is an expert in investigating crimes. She's entitled to give her opinion as to what may, her assessment may or may not be. Overruled. that the defendant, Mr. Martin, has acted with justification or in self-defense, then you must find the defendant not guilty. Jury, it has been 15 minutes. Do you have a verdict? Yes, Your Honor, we do. What say you? We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. <gasps> what? Order! What? Oh, order! Oh, crap. Order the court. Is this the unanimous decision? Hi, I'm Beverly with the local news. Mr. Martin, how does it feel to be free? Feels great. Mr. Mason, do you think the jury got it right? Absolutely. I think it uh, demonstrated our judicial system in that it does work. What do you think the impact will be on Pasadena? Well, I think the impact will be great because we know that there's issues in our community regarding anger. And by this case and this man here, I think we've set a high bar to show other cities that they can work through their issues too. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, um, Mr. Martin. I'm Andrea from BBC and I just want to ask you a few questions. Um, are you looking forward to spending time with your family now that it's all over? Absolutely. And I can't wait to get back to the club industry, you feel me? <laughs> Okay. Hello, Mr. Martin. I am Christina from Jordan International News, and I have a lot of questions for you that are regarding my country. And I wanted to know: Are you angry with the judicial system for denying you bail? I mean, I was mad at the time, but you know, I'm free now, so that's all I'm worried about. Yes, yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. I'm a little better. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Kids, I just wanted to sit down here with you and share with you I've had one of the most difficult days in my life as an attorney. Really being exposed to a 17-year-old kid losing his life. And it just made me think of my own kids and how much you mean to me and how much I love you. Because anything can happen. Yeah, you never know when it's your time to go. What's that? That it's not about your you know, ethnicity or color or how much money you have. It's about, you know, your heart. Yeah, that it doesn't matter. The color doesn't matter. Um, you know, it's just I'm I'm just think I'm just thankful that you taught taught us manners and to be respectful to others. It's all about right or wrong, you know? Well thanks son. I just uh, hope that you and your sisters if you have any questions about this case, or if you have any anger about anything, come to me and, and let's talk about it before there's any consequences as a result of it. Oh yeah, Dad. By the way, how much money we make? Mm. <laughs> no, because I got a date with Sean Quico. Tyler Perry Mason. What you will see in the 
next uh, few minutes of the show, The Making of Tyler Perry Mason, you will come into uh, a means in which we will have testimonies by each of the various cast members that were a part of this project and what they uh, enjoyed about the process so far. And I'm here today with the cast from the new show, The Tyler Perry Mason Show. We wanted to share with the viewers the making of Tyler Perry Mason. It, uh, I'll give you a little background of it so you can kind of see how we uh, created the show and how it uh, started in concept and moved into production and is now ready to be aired. Uh, basically, uh, it was pre proposed in a manner in which someone asked if, uh, if I would play the role of Perry Mason, a remake of Perry Mason. And I chose to, instead of playing the remake, to transform that character into today's society and bring him into today's lifestyle of a single parent with eight children. And we called him Tyler Perry Mason. And so I uh, casted eight children in the show and a total cast member, uh, or I should say member of 25 uh, cast members. The first uh, character that's involved with the project, it, his name is Donnie Johnson. I'm Alex, they're running the district attorney offices in this city, and their brother's coming out. They also got another brother. You ever heard of Justin Timberlake? No. You don't know him. <laughs> Justin Timberlake, he's one of the songs. This was your city. We did it all, broke every law except for one thing, Dad. You want to do something right? We can do something better. And the horn say, da 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 And the horn say, da 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 You up on that with Justin Timberlake, the Come brother. Come on, you man, you gotta know this. Big, huge. Donnie, uh, as his real name, is from Pasadena. And what I've had the opportunity to enjoy with my relationship with Donnie is an incredible individual who has the most profound comedic uh, qualities and characteristics that I think I've ever uh, witnessed. And certainly for someone who is not professionally trained, and hopefully you gain that uh, experience with him and watching his acting uh, in the first episode. Because originally when I was looking to formulate the Tyler Perry Mason show, I took on it as a drama, a dramedy show, or I should say a, dra a drama show. And once I began to look out beyond our community, or I should say beyond the character of Tyler Perry Mason, it added value to the comedy, the comedy of life, the means in which you are releasing your stress via comedy. And so it only made me bring in Donnie even more so because during my relationship with him for over uh, a number of years since high school, uh, I've always turned to him to bring comedy into my life because of his uh, humor. And he had a truly uh, significant value in bringing forth the comedy aspects of the show. I played Detective Don, but see, Alan really wanted to play my role and the kids' role and everybody else's role, so we had to really <laughs> lean just a little bit. Alan's a very creative guy, man. And Alan, uh, when this whole thing started, man, it started out as a general conversation. Next thing I know, Alan had a script written. Alan was up at 3 in the morning writing. The next day, 5 o'clock, it was done. And he was saying, Don, read this, man. We got a show. I said, we got a show. And it was interesting, man, because he uh, started pulling in people right away. It was fast, started pulling in people. Kids came together, the parents brought the kids, we started doing rehearsal. Next thing you know, there's cameras in the building and we're shooting. Lights, camera, action with this guy, man. But Detective, Detective Don is an interesting guy, man. Uh, he worked with Detective Alex here. And we're solving several cases at one time. The so, guy is shooting several shows at once. <laughs> Just not one show, three and four shows. But he's doing his thing, man. Alex is actually Josh. Mantra. And I thank you very much. Uh -huh. And if you want to have, if you want to call me later on uh, and talk about some other students, if you have something in mind or talk whatever you want, I give you my card and you can okay. call me whenever you want. Okay? I'll call you. Thank you.
He is from Germany, and he is one of the most incredible young men that I've had an opportunity to meet. Uh, he will give his testimony as to how he came into the project. But what I found more so is how ironic this whole project has been. The original character was actually drafted by a gentleman uh, whose name uh, is Alex, who had a certain kind of character about himself who was originally casted. Once Alex's character was put into stone based on it being scripted, for such a character, when Alex, as to the real Alex who was casted, uh, he didn't seem to have the passion and commitment to carry out that character. And I continued to cast and audition a number of individuals for that role. But once Josh came into uh, the picture for the character, I immediately knew he was the guy. Because I came from Germany um, and saw a post on Craigslist that extras were, uh, they were looking for extras for a show. And I went there as an extra and Ellen told me, no, you can't be an extra, you have to be Alex, the investigator. And after reading the script, after he was telling me all about the show, uh, the show and I saw his enthusiasm and all this, I was like, okay, this is interesting, this is an interesting concept, uh, we can start with that. And my experience so far is actually pretty good. I um, develop, develop my correct character because he's kind of like the same as me, as the little person, but I had for instance to read books about how to seduce women because that's like one of my main parts. And also how, uh, to, how to talk with My people. main part too. Yeah, you're, you're really comedy guy in our show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, actually, it was a kind of a de developing of myself also, and um, I'm really looking forward to this, to this show. Most of you yeah, who yeah. are viewing this show may say, well, how did you do that? What I did is I drew on inspiration, inspiration in my community, inspiration in my family, and my experiences. And what I found is that it was relatively easy to do so as long as I sat down and I committed to the time frame that was needed to do it. And so once I understand or understood the, the uh, formation of writing the, uh, the script, I began to commit myself to carrying it out so I could see the characters evolve, so I can see the stories evolve, and then I could also align how I was going to tell the story. Son, I know you're upset with me because, I know you're upset with me because I never told you who your real father was. Honey, your father was a television attorney. His name was Perry Mason. That's why I named you Tyler Perry Mason. Does that mean you're white? Does that mean you're white? Yeah, are you having strong? <laughs> what? Man, they're coming at Hollywood too. So in other words, they're coming for you. Bringing all of this together, it was really right here in our own community. The focal point is about showcasing a beautiful city that truly sets forth uh, what a model city contains. It contains the love, the joy, and the foundation that is offered to all of its citizens, all of its residents, and all of the guests that come to our beautiful city to enjoy what we have here in Pasadena. And the future is for us as citizens to make sure that 
the next generation understand the importance of what it is that we have here in Pasadena and how to carry that forth for the future. That's what Tyler Perry Mason put into motion with its storylines. As you can see, what the show has done, for those of you who saw uh, the first segment, the second segment, and are now enjoying the making of Tyler Perry Mason, uh, the first episode, which is called Anger, that we set into motion really community. So once we learn what that is, we began to reach out in every way to make it a complete effort with everybody involved, starting with our own family. Had it not been for her moving us here from Mississippi, we wouldn't have the life we have now. I'm a vegetarian. Girl, since when? Well, I'm gonna be a famous singer. Oh, no, no, you're not. You can't even sing. sing. Yeah, you can't sing. sing. You sound like a yes. you, bitch. We gotta just wait until Aunt Barbara and Perry and Zoe gets back so I can tell them. You can't sing? Yes, I can. Calm down. I'm gonna get here and I can tell them too. I had never written a script. And more importantly, I didn't really know any aspects of producing, directing, casting, or anything is related to production. But what I did understand was commitment. I needed to commit my time within a framework of getting results. And that's what I was committed to first and foremost so I can see this project evolve. Once I was able to achieve the script writing process, what I did after that was to make sure that uh, all of the individuals that was a part of the basic production side was on board so that we can see strategically how to take it to the next level. The next level required that we uh, find a way to cast uh, the various members that was a part of the project. What I ended up doing was uh, casting uh, 25 members to make the show work. Uh, I had to not only cast my eight children, uh, the two detectives, the secretary, but I also had to cast the judge. Uh, I also had to cast the jury, uh, uh, all of the various uh, auxiliary uh, personnel that was a part of the court scene, as well as get extras that were in the backgrounds as you had uh, seen in the episode that we just concluded. So all of these things have to be casted as well as the locations uh, that were formulated to carry the story out. As you can see, I am now in my office scene, which is actually my home. And what I did to try and, and conserve the cost and energy was to try and make everything as compact, compact as possible. So the office scene was shot here in my home and the uh, family room is basically my family room at my home. And the other areas are utilized from my home so that we would not have to expense money and energy to carry cast and cameras and lighting to other uh, locations to set up. And the future is for us as citizens to make sure that the next generation understand the importance of what it is that we have here in Pasadena and how to carry that forth for the future. That's what Tyler Perry Mason put into motion with its storylines. Tyler Perry Mason. Hello? Mrs. Robinson, it, it's me, Landon. 
No, I'm, I'm not okay. I'm just calling to tell you I, I'm sorry, it, it, but it's hurting me. I, I don't know what to do. I need your, your help. I, I'm so sorry for your loss. He was like my brother. He's the reason why I rap. He's the reason why thousands of kids rap. And I'm just torn to pieces that his life's been taken. But I need your opinion, judge to judge. With this motion that's before me. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Ice House tonight. I got Jazzy J and the TPM girls performing for y'all tonight. All right. Before we had adjourned for lunch, Mr. Mason had made a motion before the court on a directed verdict to dismiss the criminal charges of a second degree murder against the defendant, Phyllis Spector. The decision has been placed upon me to render as the hardest, most difficult thing I've ever had to do in my life. As a judge, I've been sworn to uphold the law and provide every defendant to his or her day in court. After the testimony of Mr. Tony Anthony, it has been determined that the law supports the position that the defendant's case may be dismissed. Hi, I'm Bill Bogard, Mayor of Pasadena, and I welcome you to this great city as we celebrate National Public Health Week. You know, the city has been in existence since 1886, and during that entire time, we have been proud to have our own public health department, which has been operating now for more than 120 years. Pasadena's commitment is to deliver exemplary municipal services to the entire community, consistent with our custom, history, and unique character. This allows us to comply with state health code requirements, to create access to health services, and to prevent disease and illnesses in our community. Celebrating National Public Health Week allows us to renew our commitment to public health and to share that commitment with you, our community. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to working with you in delivering public health services to the entire community. Hi, welcome to the City of Pasadena's Public Health Department. I am the Director of the Health Department and the City's Health Officer, Dr. Eric Walsh. We in Pasadena have a very unique situation. We are one of only three city-based health departments in the entire state of California. Our mission is that we are dedicated to promoting the physical, social, and mental well-being of all those who live, work, worship, learn, and play in Pasadena. The City of Pasadena's Public Health Department cannot do the work we do by ourselves. And so we partner with organizations like Huntington Hospital, is one of our strong partners. Day One is a youth advocacy group that also does a lot of great work around public health policy. We also partner with the Flintridge Center, 
Of course, Young and Healthy is one of our groups that we work with a great deal as well. And Young and Healthy just does amazing work on making sure that people have access to health care and are the leads for our Affordable Care Act. Public health is a broad thing. I mean, so we, we have direct services. We inspect restaurants and hotels. We have a prenatal clinic and a comprehensive HIV clinic and services, tuberculosis clinic for those who are traveling to exotic places. We have a travel and immunization clinic. We do outpatient substance abuse treatment and we do um, policy work around tobacco and nutrition as well as nutrition and health education classes. But public health is a lot bigger than all of that. Public health speaks to social justice and environmental justice. It speaks to making sure that every child born in our city has the same opportunity for a great quality of life as every other child in our city. And the city of Pasadena and its health department is very dedicated to making sure that we are, have a level playing field for every family, that they're supported, nurtured, and get the social services they need to be great and to do great things in our city and far beyond our city. We do want everyone to realize that for us every day is public health day. Every day we get up and we come to work and we're excited about making sure that we provide the kind of services to our community that improves the quality of life. So although this is Public Health Week, please understand that every day we live to make Pasadena a healthier city. So please, live well, Pasadena. A central part of any healthy city are its parks and recreational services. A high quality park system encourages community connectedness, builds upon human development, and creates a healthy community for our residents of all ages. In Pasadena, we promote and encourage the value of parks to our guests and residents alike. Come discover how parks make life better in Pasadena. Youth and adults in Pasadena share a strong passion for outdoor sports. Benefits of recreation activities in Pasadena are endless. We pride ourselves on our parks. From special events to sports activities, we have something for everyone to do. Our parks offer serenity and beauty. There are places to go to enjoy your friends and nature. Parks make life better. <laughs>